안녕하세요 슈키입니다 지난 시간 IOC가 도쿄올림픽에서 우길기 사용을 승인했다는 사실에 분노하여 이에 대해 외국인들은 어떻게 생각하는지 길거리 인터뷰를 나눠봤었는데요 해당 영상에서 많은 분들이 피드백으로 올림픽 얘기를 하는데 방사능은 왜안 물어보냐 라고 질문을 하셔서 이번 시간에는 한국을 방문한 외국인들이 일본 대신 한국을 선택한 이유와 일본의 현 방사능 실태에 대해 얼마나 인지하고 있는지 궁금해 질문을 던져봤습니다 또한 지난번 영상에서는 너무 한국인의 입장에서 인터뷰가 진행된다는 의견을 주신 분들이 몇몇 계셔서 오늘은 보다 중립적으로 인터뷰를 진행할 수 있도록 미국인 인터뷰요 What's going on? Hi, I'm Michael. 네, 바로 이분을 모셔왔습니다. 그렇다면 해당 질문에 대해 과연 외국인들은 어떻게 대답할까요? 지금 바로 확인해 보시죠. Let's go. It's really bad, right? 재미있는 Um, Why? So Because you know our society when we are child, we saw a cartoon, Japanese cartoon. Uh, so we see their societies. We love their society and we hope to visit Japan. Ah, But see. Korea is not bad. It's very nice country. It looks like USA mostly. Right. Yes, right. most of the things. And it is a very safe country. I, I like it. Yeah, it is very safe. Right? Yeah, very safe. This is what I like here. And no, no chance. We plan to go on our trip. I've, I've never visited Japan, so I, it's not really something I've thought about, honestly. Like, I've never... Never crossed Yeah, never this is really the first kind of Asian country, like, really Asian country that I've visited. Um, I visited Russia, but it's not as much the same culture. When I think of Japan, I'm a little bit more hesitant to go there because I know that South Korea is, like, one of the safest areas in the world. That's what we've learned while we've been here. Have you heard about concerns since the accident at Fukushima with radiation in Japan? Yes. Yeah, yeah. Like right now in Korea, there's a lot of concern mm. with the food and it being radiated still from Fukushima. Mm. And in thinking about visiting Japan, do you also think about the radiation and does it concern you one way or another? No, no, no. No, no. no, no. Well, actually, I didn't focus on these topics, but uh, I don't think this will be, uh, affect me in any, any reason. We're going to be there in a week, so... Oh, you're going to be there? Yeah. So is that something you've considered or been oh, worried about? In the, in the back of my mind, yeah, absolutely. Mm. It's, I mean, obviously it was a global story and everybody heard about it, but um, you would imagine if there was a, a real risk that the government would probably, you know, do something about it. Mm. I don't believe there's a risk, significant risk. I mean, there's an equal risk of an earthquake happening, I would imagine, something, el something else happening while we're over there. Mm. So it's just another element to the trip. I can't say I'm that concerned. Oh. Yeah, uh, concerning the radiation in the food in Japan. I'm not I've never even thought about that because mainly because I've never considered visiting Japan, but and probably something I would look more into if I was planning on going. If that makes any sense. Um so when it comes to food and stuff, I completely trust whatever I'm eating. I mean, obviously I'm eating like street food right now. I trust it. He's eating like a stick of meat. That's the best stick of meat I've ever put in my mouth. Like, uh, we weren't concerned at all. We did our we did our research. I mean, yeah, but before we actually did the research, we were a little concerned. We watched the TV show um, Chernobyl. So we were like, if it, this is dangerous in Russia, would it be dangerous in Japan? But after looking it up, we were like, I guess it looks like it's all fine. So... Yeah. Like just recently in the news, it was announced by Japan that mm. they're going to have to release 2 million tons mm. of radiated water into, into the, the ocean. ocean yes. Yeah, how well, do you feel? Well, obviously not, that's not ideal. I mean, but it's nothing, from my point of view, I, there's nothing I can do to stop that. Um, I don't know what the mitigating factors are. I don't know if there are any. I don't think this is just a bad thing, but it is what it is. Mm. I hope, I, I would hope there's another alternative. Really? So I'm curious about your reaction to uh, that. Does it worry you? Yeah, of course, it will worry anyone because you know, this radiation will affect your children maybe if, we, if, if it's not affecting you. So for me, the, till now I didn't visit Japan. I, I think after this topic, I will not. <laughs> right. um, does it worry you when they would do something like that or hearing that? 
I think uh, we are very far from, from this <laughs> Japan place. and yeah. from this place and uh, <laughs> we don't think about this. Okay, okay. Vladivostok is <laughs> near yeah. Japan. And <laughs> right, yeah, yes. then it would be a much, that, much more concerning. That, yes. Definitely concerning, but makes me want to read more and understand why why now, what, what that means for the environment, what that means for Definitely. surrounding countries, for the globe, you know, for everybody. Oh, into the ocean. To me, that kind of sounds like they're putting like financial success over like their people. Or From when you say it like that, like they've chosen to spend more money on the Olympics than on making sure the water's safe. And just Maybe. like the long-term repercussions of putting that much toxic stuff in the ocean, like who knows what will happen. What about like their marine life, and does that it's, affect them in any way? That's that's the concern, and there's a, there's a lot of worry here in Korea that there's cover-up in Japan. Uh, so that maybe the food's not very safe to eat anywhere in Japan, especially around Tokyo and north of the... But dumping it in the ocean, it's not just affecting their marine life. Being from Oregon, we've received a lot of the radiation and radioactive uh, garbage from the initial accident. So it kind of spreads to everywhere, everybody sharing the Pacific. Who's decided to do that? Like, whose decision? I just know the Japanese government. Wow, but maybe we should have put the Olympics somewhere else then. That's kind of a, a little bit of our question too. The Olympics are yeah. coming to Japan next. And uh, even a lot of the events are going to be happening all over the country. And sports like baseball and some others are going to be happening right in Fukushima. Where there's a lot of concern about like the athletes being fed radiated foods there. That a lot of the food might have radiation. If you were visiting the Olympics and wanting to see events that were there, how would you feel about eating the food there? Um, not a strong opinion. I mean, I, I think that there should be some scientific testing on food or whether things are still slightly contaminated and Japanese government should make arrangements ne that are necessary for everybody to feel safe to participate or to, uh, eat, to uh, eat or... Yeah, yeah. Because definitely it's scary to know that there's radiation and knowing that it's not safe and we still don't know what could be, like, the yeah, what could happen after that, so... That's definitely yeah, scary. Maybe we can trust Japanese government uh, near from Fukushima. Maybe it's quite good, I think. I trust them. Yeah, I heard that recently, which seemed a bit unusual. I, uh, they've moved one of the events. Are they moving one of the events, or have they talked about that? I hadn't seen that they're uh, moving. I know there's several events planned yeah. I mean, for it, Fukushima if, itself. If they've got Geiger counters, and if they're making sure that the, the, the exposure's within normal limits, then I don't see a problem per se. So as long as it's, if it's controlled and it's measured and it's been done in a sensible way, then I don't see it as a problem. Uh, if there was any risk to the athletes, that would be unacceptable. But if there's no perceived risk to the athletes, then I don't see the problem with that. As a human, concerned for any other human, you know, it doesn't matter what country they're from, but... Obviously, we don't like want athletes to get sick, and I, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, and not even just the athletes, just anyone yeah, there, just like, like not even just worrying about the athletes that are there performing, but just the spectators, like you said. Yeah, That right. sounds just more of like a human issue rather than... Yeah, it's a human issue. It affects everybody in this area. Korea is very close and also affected, and, and uh, the U.S. is affected, uh, even that far away has been affected. Uh, yeah, big concern. Yeah, it's interesting. Now you can't wait to go have sushi in Japan? Oh my goodness. <laughs> I almost just bought it too. I'm making it. Not here. Here it's good. Oh, okay. <laughs> no, yeah, yeah. I don't have any plans on going there anytime soon. Oh. En enjoy the sushi here. It's delicious. Okay, good. I think the food there is it's, it's good. Because we like sushi. Everyone likes sushi. Uh, yeah, but I mean, imagine, I mean, that's where uh, but, but, what the, the radiation? sushi coming from the yeah. ocean, radiation going into the ocean. Yeah. That's a big concern is that the food that people are eating is too this highly This is radiated. a very, very big topic. Uh, we don't know because I, I told you that I fixed it in the future will appear, not now. So even if, if, if the people now eating Japan and there is no effects, maybe in the future, if the future will happen, we cannot judge now. This is a very big uh, question. It'd be, it'd be terrible to find out 50 years yes, from now how bad yes, it was. Yes, because I told the radiation, it, it will not affect, if, if it's not affecting you now, it will affect your children. Yeah. So we don't know the answer, if there is or not. So it is uh, a gambling, you know. <laughs>
It's like thinking of the Russian athletes, even. Uh, like, yeah. <laughs> Russian athletes <laughs> will not be, I think, in the, on the Olympic Games, you, uh, no, no. you because um, maybe you hear about uh, that we don't take don't our take part in uh, these games. We don't take part oh, because not. of uh, doping, something. doping, <laughs> doping. Uh, doping. Test, oh, I didn't so even yeah. hear about that. <laughs> yes. Oh. <laughs> and uh, I think that will they will be there, but um, some problems <laughs> oh. with doping. <laughs> oh, I didn't even hear about that. I didn't know. I mean, only only because we were going to visit Hiroshima, so only there did we think of even you know looking up what radiation levels might be like. But we didn't think about it for Kyoto or Tokyo or yeah. Osaka. But I definitely think there should be a third party impartial organization, whether it's through the UN or some kind of you know global scientific uh, association to do some independent testing because I mean in Chernobyl by no means accusing the Japanese government of anything I don't know enough to you know but I, I think it's important for you know, the Russian government was trying to cover up because things can look bad and yeah. so I think you know once there were those independent uh, researchers you know proving that there were some serious issues that's when a lot of this you know came to the limelight so I think yeah that yeah. should happen as well and definitely especially if there's like a, such a big event as the Olympic Games happening there it's important to make sure that everything that is traveling there is actually aware of the risks and if there are any risks. <laughs> 네, 재밌게 보셨나요? 오늘의 영상은 여기까지입니다. 보셨다시피 생각 이상으로 외국인들은 일본의 방사능 위험으로부터 굉장히 무관심했습니다. 심지어 수많은 양의 방사능을 바다에 버린다고 했음에도 불구하고 영상에는 나오지 않았지만 몇몇 외국인들은 영상을 사용하지 못할 정도로 무지했습니다. 방사능을 자신의 바다에 버리지 않는다고 마치 남의 일처럼 생각하는 사람들. 결국 바다에 버려진 방사능은 돌고 돌아 우리에게 돌아오며 이는 내부 피폭으로 이어져 인체에 치명적인 악영향을 줄수 있기 때문에 정말 답답해지는 순간이었습니다. 여러분들의 생각은 어떤가요? 저는 지금까지 시쿤이었습니다. 감사합니다. 야아...